and welcome to Yoga with Leanne from Dragon Bunny Books. I am Leanne and in case you haven't noticed, today we have a very special yoga for you. It's yoga for birthdays because guess what? Today is my birthday and I love birthdays and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Even if it's not your birthday, we're going to pretend it is. So come down onto your yoga mat and let's get ready to celebrate birthdays and do yoga. settle in because we're gonna have some fun so sitting up really really tall that's your first thing to do and imagine that your head is balancing right over your heart which is balancing right over your hips so that you're sitting up really tall and relax your shoulders away from your ears and take a deep breath in through your nose and an even longer breath out through your mouth or your nose just let it all out Great job, exaggerate that breath out. Good for you. And we're going to begin just warming up a little bit. We're going to start with our hands reaching up to the sky. Another deep breath in, volcano arms up. And then slowly coming down into cactus arms as you breathe out. Volcano arms reaching up. And cactus arms coming down. Last time, volcano arms, reach them right up. And cactus arms coming down. And hold them here, cactus arms. We're gonna count to three. One, nice and strong. Two, keep breathing. Three, and release your cactus arms all the way down. Come onto your hands and knees. We're going to warm up with some spinal flexion. Spread your fingers wide. Make yourself into a nice table. We're going to breathe in and look up. And breathe out and round and scoop. Two more like that. Warming up, getting ready for our birthday yoga. And round and scoop. And last time, breathe, open your chest, look up. And really breathe it all the way out. Exaggerate the breath out. So great to slow down your breath. Coming into your yoga mat, onto your yoga mat, just coming into your body and feeling into your own body. At home yoga is the best because nobody's looking at you. You can do exactly as you need to do, no judgment. Um, you can invite people in your family to join you if you want. That's a fun thing to do, but you're safe at home. Tuck your toes under, or if you're at school, that's good too. At home or at school or the library, wherever you are doing yoga, hopefully you're safe and happy. All right, tuck your toes and come up onto your knees, lifting up, tuck your toes and press into your hands and we're going to be a hovering table, counting to three here. Here we go, breathe in. One hovering table, two hovering tables, three hovering tables, and this time lift your hips all the way up into downward dog and just pedal it out a few times and breathe. And nod your head yes and shake your head no. If you're wearing a birthday party hat, hopefully it's staying on like mine is. All right, walk your hands and feet together. And from here, nod your head yes. And shake your head no. And slowly roll it all the way up with me. So imagine it's your birthday today, just like it is for me and you wake up in the morning and you feel great. You look around, you take a deep breath out and a long breath out and you just say thank you. Thank you to the sky. Thank you to the earth. Thank you to the moon. Reaching over to one side. Thank you to the stars. Opening up your hands, opening up your feet spreading yourself out, take up all the space and say thank you to life because birthdays are a great day to do that. So breathe in thank you and then hop your feet together and we'll do it again. Thank you to the sun, thank you to the earth, nod your head yes, roll it up. Thank you to the moon, other side and thank you to the stars, open up, take up space. 
Open up your arms, open up your legs, feeling into every point of your star, your head, your hands, your feet. Reach and breathe. Hop your feet together and we'll do it one more time. Thank you to the sun. Thank you to the earth. Birthdays are such a great time to be grateful. Roll it up. And thank you to the moon on one side and the moon on the other side. And hop your feet apart. Thank you to the stars. So many billions of stars in the sky. And we are a part of it. And it is so awesome to celebrate the miracle of life and all the cool aspects of the universe today on your birthday. So hold it out here. See if you can hold it strong and tall. Let's count five stars together. One star, two stars. Every time I say it, you're going to shine brighter. Three stars, spreading your fingers, opening your heart. Four stars, breathing deep. Five stars and hop your feet together. Awesome. So on this perfect birthday day, we have started off by saying thank you to all the elements. And now we're going to have some breakfast sitting in your favorite chair. Make yourself comfortable. Eat your favorite breakfast. I don't know what your favorite breakfast is, but today on my birthday, I'm going to have a beautiful oatmeal with pumpkin seeds and slivered almonds and raisins. Uh, and maybe some carrot chips. That's what I would like to eat with some soy milk on top. Mm, my perfect breakfast. I wonder what your perfect breakfast is. Take your time to eat it. Don't rush. It's your birthday. Take it all in. And then when you're done, you can put it down. Bring your hands back to your heart. If you're still here in chair pose, I'm going to challenge you even more to twist over to one side and look up and come back to center. Breathe in. Last time, stay strong. You can do it. Twist over to the other side. Look up and come back to center. And on the next breath out, we're going to fold back into forward fold. <sighs> Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Roll out your arms like spaghetti and come all the way back up to standing. Roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders front. Now, on your birthday, sometimes you get presents. And guess what? This birthday is no different. We're going to get three presents here on our birthday. So um, these presents come, of course, in a package with a pretty bow. So let's come into our bow pose on your tummies, please. The first present uh, is going to be red. So let's start off in our Sphinx pose and imagine a beautiful red package that just happens to be my favorite color and since today is my birthday we're going to pretend our first package is red. Warming up for a bow pose I want you to press your elbows and your hands down firmly into your yoga mat or the ground or the earth and I want you to pull, tug your elbows towards you, look up and breathe and then one leg at a time we're just going to practice bending our back legs, our we only half legs that are in the back. So just bending your legs behind you a few times and then bring both legs up and look over one shoulder and look over the other shoulder. Now you can let, relax your legs, lower your head down and bending one leg at a time. See if you can hold on to your feet coming into your bow pose. Hold on to both feet if that feels comfortable. And we're going to lift up our legs and if that still feels okay, lift up your head. And this is bow pose. A beautiful red bow on top of present number one and the most important part of yoga is the breath. So breathe in here and open the present and release. Come back to Sphinx. The second present is going to be purple because that's my second favorite color. You can choose what color your present will be. Starting off here on Sphinx, you know what's coming next. You can bend one leg and the other leg. Relax down out of Sphinx. Bring one foot and one hand together, and if this feels still really good in your body, you breathe in, lift up your legs, lift up your heart, and shine like a purple, purple present, purple bow, breathe, and when you're ready, exhale and release, long breath out. I told you we got three presents on this birthday, we're very, very lucky, and my present is going to be pink, my third present. I wonder what yours will be in your imagination. So holding here in Sphinx, bend one leg, 
and the other leg. You know what's coming next. Release your Sphinx Pose. Bend your legs. Inhale. When you exhale, come into your bow pose. Wiggle your toes. Breathe. And open that pink bow and release. I wonder what your three presents were. Come into your child's pose as you imagine what those three presents were and celebrate the fun aspect of birthdays and presents with me. <sighs> now the next thing hap that happened in this birthday story is that we went to the fair and at the fair there was a roller coaster. Now I don't know if you are like me and if you like roller coasters, but we're going to pretend that we are um, going to be riding a roller coaster together. So you can use your yoga mat, you can hold on, and when you, if you really feel safe in your roller coaster, we're going to lift up our arms and go crazy because it's our birthday and that's what we can do. So roller coasters are really fast, so going side to side and breathing in. Now one, two, three, lift up your arms, Whee! and grab onto your toes as you stretch it out. Do it again, side to side, one, two, three, lift your arms up, breathe in, Whee! and closing it down, holding on, hold on, we're almost there, this is so much fun, loop-de-loo, and side to side, one, two, three, breathe in, and this is the really, really scary part, here we go, Whee! hold on, and close in on yourself, feeling a nice stretch, Bend your knees and straighten your legs, however it feels comfortable in your body. Just take deep breaths in and out. <sighs> that should feel really good and roll it back up. We also are going to go to my other favorite thing, which is the water park, and we're going to do some splashing around. So sitting up tall, roll your arms up and splash it all the way down in the wave pool. Roll it up and splash it all the way down in the wave pool. Imagine water everywhere. Big breaths like big waves. And last time, roll it down, roll, 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 and hold it here, and nod your head yes, and shake your head no. So refreshing, all of that awesome water. Come and lie all the way down on your back. And come all the way back up, a big wave is coming, breathe in, touch your toes, and breathe out, and release. Breathe in, touch your toes, breathe out, and release. Last time, breathe in, touch your toes. These waves are awesome. Breathe out, and let all the water just wash over you. Alright, come on back up. It's time for us to go home. Um, as much as I do love to have a very adventurous birthday, I also enjoy for things to be a little bit more calm. So what we're going to do right now is we're gonna go home and we're going to take our dog for a walk. Uh, if you know me that I love, love, love to walk my dog. So let's come into downward dog pose. Starting off in our tabletop, tuck your toes under, breathe in, and lift your hips up for a nice downward dog pose. Then one leg at a time, this is us walking our dogs. Walking our dog, walk, 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 and then see if you can push your heels down towards the ground, uh, however it feels comfortable in your body. Again, you're at home, so yoga is not a competition. Yoga is more about how it feels and how it looks, and everybody's body will look differently. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out and walk your hands and your feet together as we're walking all the way back. And nod your head yes and shake your head no. Arms are like spaghetti. And you can bend your knees and come on back down. So after dinner, it's uh, time for us to do the very famous thing that happens on everyone's birthday almost, if you're lucky and that's make, uh, eat a birthday cake. So my birthday cake is going to be uh, chocolate with sprinkles on top. 
um, and you can imagine what your birthday cake will be like. But um, can you remember what you do uh, when you get a birthday cake? What's the famous thing that we all love to do? Of course, we like to blow out the candles. So in yoga, breathing is such an important part of, um, of our practice. You often hear me say that breathing is the most important part of yoga, and we try to really slow our breath down when we, when we do yoga. So let's practice first the breathing part, and then we're going to actually become the candle. So take a deep breath in through your nose. Really relax your shoulders, relax your body, sitting in a comfortable spot, breathing in. And you're going to breathe out as though you're blowing out a hundred candles. So you really want to breathe out strong and long. Here we go. Good. Breathe in again. This time breathing out 200 candles. Whoa, that was awesome. Last time. 300 candles, we can do it. Emptying all of the air out. Excellent job. All right, come on to your backs with me to practice our final yoga pose for this birthday yoga, candle pose. I think I'm gonna untie this little tie that I have in my back because it's gonna let me lie on my back better. I want it to be nice and flat. So you want your back really flat with your yoga mat when you get there. And you want to bring your knees into your chest and you can just hold it here and rock back and forth a few times and feel into that position in your body. Feel how it feels. It should be a nice massage. Again, this is your birthday yoga, so everything should really feel good in your body. And if it doesn't feel good, then you need to either do less of it or just change it so that you listen to your body. Don't listen to what my body does, listen to what your body does. So wriggle your ankles and your wrists and breathe. You can lift your arms and legs up into the up into the sky. This feels good too. It's nice to get your feet up above your head for a change. And breathe out and bring your knees back in. All right, now we're going to start rocking our legs up and down. So this could be candle pose in your body. If this feels good for you, you could try this being candle pose. Of course, you want to light your toes so that the flames are up here and you can blow them out with your, with your mouth. Just like that. Or we can try being candle pose a different way. So we're going to lift up our hips and make our bodies tall this way. And you can wiggle your toes and that's the fire. And you can breathe here and see if you can blow out your candle. When you blow out your candle, knees come down and you can roll it all the way down. Should we try candle one more time? All right, breathe in with me. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Blow out your candles. Good work. Rock it back up. At the end of every birthday, something that I definitely like to do is to count my blessings. So we had so many things to be grateful for in today's uh, yoga birthday story. Not only did we have fun and receive presents and cake, but we also got a chance to, um, to be alive, which is so cool, to do yoga and to breathe and to connect with ourselves. Uh, and on our birthday, sometimes we like to think about the things that uh, and the people that we might be grateful for and the animals and the nature. So let's take a moment now, just in our own time, in our own bodies, in our own way, take a moment to be grateful and to say thank you in your heart to life, to yourself, to the people and animals that you love, to nature, the sun and the earth and the moon and the stars, all the things that brought you here. 
And lucky me that I got to share them with you today. So let's take one last deep, grateful breath in. Hands to your heart. Sit up tall. And breathing out, let everything go. Relax your hands. Open on your knees. A grateful little smile. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your time and celebrating birthday yoga with me. And I really appreciate doing this with you and I invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to do more yoga on this channel if you have not subscribed already and to share it with a friend because everybody uh, has fun doing yoga, especially when it's birthday yoga. I can't believe my hat stayed on the whole time. <laughs> It's fantastic. All right, we'll see you again soon for more yoga with a story. Thanks so much. Happy birthday. Bye. Shane, hi baby. Happy birthday to mommy. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God, Shane came for birthday yoga too. Yay, yay, and birthday kisses. Can you say happy birthday? Do you want to try wearing the hat? Do you want to wear the hat? There we go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Shane. Does he look cute? Does he look cute in the hat? <laughs>